Ah, I feel like it's a good time for a midday author nap. I mean, I say midday, but it's close to 11 p.m., so I guess just sleep. Anywho, universal implies everyone. Everyone gets UBI. Now, as to how it would actually be implemented, which, as of this moment, isn't even being considered, that would vary, and I would imagine that the corrupt pro-corporate capitalist system is going to attach some sort of litmus test to it. But theoretically, it goes from everyone, from Jeff Bezos to the homeless man on the streets. And of course, certain protections need to be put in place so that it's not immediately price gouged from corporations, the grocery stores, landlords, etc. But ostensibly what it does is the working class gets a little bit of their income topped up to equalize for the fact that people at the very bottom, people that are on disability, ODSP, mother's allowance, our veterans, what have you, we ensure that they have the basic dignity of shelter. That's it. We're not getting them Ferraris or anything else. We're just making sure that people have basic fundamental human rights. Now we need to live in a system that ensures that housing, at least for small family wartime homes and one bedroom apartments, stay at a certain cost, which obviously we need to subsidize the build of. But all in all, what it's saying is regardless of who you are, if you fall and hit rock bottom, you'll be okay. We collectively as a society will look out for you. We have the money to pay for it. Like we could easily afford it rather than Doug Ford giving his land developer buddies massive handouts danielle lewis with her massive oil subsidies to clean up wells that is their responsibility to clean up anyway we could be just decent people and allow people to have a clear and definitive path out of poverty essentially what it's advocating for is for our own money the money that we have paid into the system to actually go back to us for once but not only that to tax the rich their fair share and if they don't like it, they want to go overseas for something cheaper, fine, go right ahead. But you have no business doing business within Canada ever again. If you're going to use our roads and our infrastructure and automate our jobs, then you're going to fucking pay for it. And UBI, theoretically anyway, works. In every pilot case that has been done throughout the world, it has yielded positive results. Does that mean it's a perfect system? Of course not. But... Corporations won't raise prices if we tie it to inflation. Their record profits go up, they're giving us more money. Fucking sucks to be you, because this system that we currently have isn't working.